really want to call on stage Mr. John Wapwin Smith, Secretary of State of Maryland. He will present the special message of governor to our governor. If, if I could just take a moment I'm, uh, to say a couple of things as well. Uh, I'm just absolutely delighted to be here tonight. Governor, we, we welcome you and, and uh, we, we look forward to many things. I just will take a minute to say, uh, about uh, seven years ago, uh, I met CJ and Jesse and um, got my first introduction really to Pakistan. Um, and I will tell you that uh, that has grown uh, exponentially. Uh, Ambassador Ali Sadiqi and then Ambassador Khan, uh, we've uh, celebrated the National Day of Pakistan together at the embassy. And uh, what I would also say, I, I was really enthralled tonight. I do have the great pleasure tonight to um, present from Governor Hogan. And CJ, would you uh, join us up here as well, please? And Jessica, yeah, please. So I have uh, from the Governor of the State of Maryland to His Excellency, Shandi Mohammed's server, Governor of Punjab, Pakistan. Greetings, be it known that on behalf of the citizens of this state, in recognition of a tribute to honor you and commemorate the hospitality and goodwill demonstrated to celebrate your most welcome visit to the state of Maryland. In grateful appreciation of the mutual respect, friendship, and our great country sh that our great country share, and as our citizens join with the Muslims of America in expressing our great respect and sincere best wishes, we're pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation, uh, and that's uh, dated today, and signed by Governor Hogan, our governor, uh, by our Lieutenant Governor, Boyd Rutherford, and by myself as the Secretary of State, and I'd like to present that now. Thank you very much. Honorable Governor, Mrs. Parveen Server, Sajid Tahir Saab, Jasdeep Singh Saab, Secretary of State, Bobin Smith, Attorney General, thank you very much for uh, finally making us feel that uh, COVID is behind us. Today, when I walked into this hall, I felt like uh, getting into a new world. Uh, we have all... So, Governor Saab, your visit is auspicious because uh, this is actually my first public gathering and event in the DMV area in the last almost year and a half. So, it is thanks to the governor's presence uh, that uh, we are all able to come together uh, as Muslims of America, as Pakistani Americans, as South Asian Americans. So this uh, really is significant. I know you are here to listen uh, from uh, the governor, uh, our distinguished chief guest for tonight. Uh, I am so very happy to see you all. I look forward to resuming our physical interactions uh, as we uh, leave COVID behind us and as we start a new chapter uh, in embassy's relationship with the community. I thank Sajid Tarar Saab for his leadership, for his community activism, and I think the purpose of Muslims of America being that they want to engage Pakistani American community in domestic politics is very, very important and worth appreciation because we do need community activism and your success is our success. 
and your voice is our voice, and I am happy uh, to be able to contribute in any way possible that I could. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much to all of you, and uh, I thank the governor. You know, he's on a very extensive and hectic trip throughout the United States, and I think by the time he finishes his stay in the United States, he would know more Pakistani Americans than I do know as ambassador of Pakistan here. So thank you very much. Please stand together for Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Welcome to tonight's event. It's great seeing everyone here today. Uh, we're gathered here tonight to celebrate many accomplished leaders in our Muslim American community. According to the dictionary, community means a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. All of us here might have different faiths, ethnicities, and backgrounds, but we all share at least one thing. We live in America and we call this place home. Many Muslims in the post 9-11 era have begun to take leadership roles in the political sphere to change the image and treatment of American Muslims. Currently, there are four Muslims in Congress. One of them is Congressman Keith Ellison, who once said, we've seen the consequences of anti-Muslim hate, and the best defense against extreme ideologies is social inclusion and civic engagement. Not only does community engagement and leadership foster a respectable image for Muslims, but it also puts good role models in place for our future generations. Now, I'd like to introduce a man who has been one of those ideal role models and mentors for me. Jasdeep Singh is a lifelong community activist who has worked to make America his home, a better place. As chairman of Six of America, he has been a champion for Six, not only in the US, but all over the world. He is a patriotic American who wakes up in the morning with an appetite to help those around him. Not only is he one of the strongest leaders in our community, he's also a pretty great uncle. Please join me in welcoming Jasdeep Singh. Thank you, Fadeh. You are the greatest nephew. Assalamu alaikum, satsriyakal, namaste, good evening to all of you. Honorable Governor Chaudhary Mohammed Sarwar Sahab, Asad Majid Sahab, Ambassador Sahab, uh, Secretary of State uh, John Wuben Smith, Attorney General Doug Gansler, State Senator Will Smith, Steve McAdams, my dear friend, and all of you and other dignitaries that I missed, thank you so much for coming tonight. And first of all, I thank Mr. Sajid Tarar Sahab and Muslims of America for arranging such a beautiful evening in honor of our governor, Chaudhary Sahab. Thank you, Sajid Tarar Sahab. The respect that the Pakistani brothers and sisters give us, the Sikh community, is overwhelming. We, see, we are seeing it tonight. And I've seen it, uh, you know, whenever I go to Pakistan. Uh, the bond between Sikhs and Pakistan is an unbreakable bond. It, was, it, has, it has lasted for centuries and it's going to be there forever. Uh, let me tell you why. Uh, my parents, my mother and father, were born in Pakistan, Rawalpindi and Gujar Khan, and they moved to India during partition. And all my life, as a kid growing up, I used to hear from my mother stories about Pakistan, about her friends, about the lanes that she lived in, about the local Gurdwara, about how Pakistan was. And you know, whenever we would bring something for her, uh, I would slip into Punjabi, Hindi. My American friends apologize me if I do that. Pakistan. <laughs> Yes, he, 
ਕੂੜੀ ਛੋਲੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਣੇ ਕੁਲਚੇ ਛੋਲੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਕੁਲਚੇ ਨੇ ਕੁਲਚੇ ਤਾਂ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਹਾਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਾਲਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਡੈਡੀ ਇਹ ਚੰਨ ਬੜਾ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਨਿਕਲਿਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਚੰਨ ਹੈ ਚੰਨ ਤੇ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ so uh, growing up with uh, with this at home and yes of course there is animosity between the two countries there's no doubt about it when we uh, go in society when we listen to the media when we listen to uh, you know other uh, uh, entities out there we we do get a a, a message of hate nahi ji pakistan theek nahi hai pakistani and me growing up in india i was i was brought up thinking that you know or, or i'm sure jab main apne doston nu itthe pakistani doston nu milya unna di wei views san par jadon when i came to this nation and when i met the first pakistani and that pakistani was the best of all the pakistani sajid tar saab <laughs> he became my dearest friend my brother for last 30 years and you know when i met so many others uh, we have uh, uh, john nasir saab who I met the first time at Pizza Bolis through Pizza Bolis I have gold share sitting there and all of you my Pakistani friends when I met you it opened the new world that we are one we are together we love each other we are the same people and this is the message we have to spread today throughout our communities jede lokan nu nahi pata ohna nu dassiye bhai assi sare ikka we are one we love each other and that is the message uh, that our governor saab has been working on i've been uh, following him uh, he has done so much uh, uh, in england for the sikh community for the hindu community he's been there for the sikh community in pakistan recently whenever he came to the kartarpur sub corridor he was there where there was a, a very uh, touchy subject a very very uh, subject of uh, jagjit kaur the case the famous case that was being very much manipulated by media all over and the way you handled it you brought the families together and i saw those pictures it was amazing so we we really thank you <laughs> governor saab for doing all this ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਗਲਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੰਮ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਭਰਾ ਸਾਜਿਦ ਤਾਰਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਕਰਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਮੈਂ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਕਰਾਂ ਇਹ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਵਨ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਜੈਮ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਬੜੇ ਬੇਬਾਕ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਜ਼ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਦਿਲ ਚ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਇਹ ਬਾਹਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਕੋਈ ਛੁਪਾ ਕੇ ਲੁਕੋ ਕੇ ਅਜ ਤੱਕ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੋਨੈਸਟ ਮੈਨ 30 ਸਾਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਕੋਲ ਰੋਜ਼ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਵੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਸਿੱਖਣਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਸੋ ਆਨਰਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਮ ਔਨ ਹਿਸ ਸਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਨਾਓ ਆਸਕ ਹਿਮ ਟੂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਦ ਆਡੀਅנס ਸਾਜੇ ਤਾਰਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਫਾਊਂਡਰ ਚੇਅਰਮੈਨ ਮੁਸਲਮਸ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਟੇਕ ਲਗਾ ਦੀ ਜੈਸੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਥੋੜੀ ਜਿਹੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਤਾਰੀਫ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੇ ਮਾਈ ਅਪੋਲੋਜੀਸ ਟੂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਡਗ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਸਿੰਸ ਜੈਸੀ ਹੈਸ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਫਲਿਪਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਫੋਰਥ ਟੂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਟੂ ਉਰਦੂ ਐਂਡ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਯੈਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਗਵਰਨਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹਿਸ ਐਕਸੀਲੈਂਸੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਏ ਸੋ ਨਾਈਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਅਸਦ ਮਜੀਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਡਗ ਗੈਂਸਲਰ ਸੈਕਟਰੀ ਵੋਬਨ ਸਮਿਥ ਵਿਲ ਸਮਿਥ steam academy so uh, and all other elected and non elected officials and sab to baddi gall hai tusi jehde sare aaye tusi inna izzat maan mainu ditta hai i'm so humble aaj tuesday khas kar tuesday n tusi working almost working days even then with the covid situation jis tarah ambassador saab ne farmaya main i won't be able to forget it so nice of you so nice of you i'm very humble ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੈਂ ਖਾਸ ਕਰ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਅਦਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਇਹਨੇ ਦੋ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਈ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਤੋਂ ਆਏ ਕਈ ਕੈਂਸਸ ਸਿਟੀ ਤੋਂ ਆਏ ਔਰ ਖਾਸ ਕਰ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਇਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਅਦਾ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਤਵਿਦ ਜਵੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਰਾ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਦਿਲ ਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਐਫਰਟਸ ਫਾਰ ਦ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੇਟ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਫਾਰ ਜੋ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟਡ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟਡ ਤੇ 
ਜਾਏ ਪਦੈਸ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਈਂ ਦੀ ਖੂਈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਾਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਯਾਂ ਤੇ ਸਾਈਂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਦੁਆਵਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਨੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੰਨਾ ਇਕੱਲਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਇਨੀ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਕਿਸੇ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਬਗੈਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਅਚੀਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਕਿ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਮੈਂਟੋਰ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਸੀਨ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਸਟਡੀਡ ਇਟ ਫਰੈਂਕਲੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਮੈਂਟੋਰ ਫॉर एवरी ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਹੂ ਲੀਵ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਔਰ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਸਨ ਕਿ ਦ ਦ ਵੇ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਵੇ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਪਾਰਟ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਹੀ ਮੇਡ ਮਨੀ ਹੀ ਮੇਡ ਨੇਮ ਹੀ ਸਰਵਡ ਹਿਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਹੀ ਸਰਵਡ ਅਦਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਹੀ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸਡ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਟੂ ਸਰਵ ਹਿਸ ਮਦਰ ਲੈਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟੇਬਲ ਥਿੰਕ ਐਨੀਬਡੀ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਬਲਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਤਾਲਾ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਤੋਫੀਕ عطا ਫਰਮਾਏ ਕਿ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਗੋ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਸਰਵ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਔਰ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਆਸਕਡ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਸਿਨ ਔਨ ਸੈਵਰਲ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਯੋਰ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਯੋਰ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਵਿਦ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਟੈਲ ਹਮ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਮਦਰ ਲੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਮ ਲੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਰਵ ਬੋਥ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਨੋ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਕਿਡਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਮ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਮਦਰ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਰਵ ਬੋਥ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਕੰਫਰਟੇਬਲ ਹੇਅਰ but i cannot forget my my bondage i cannot forget my relationship with pakistan and the chori server sahab has proven himself he has proven that ideology that it is possible that you can serve both places you can be a member of parliament in uk at the point your son can serve the to, to be a mp in uh, england and you can still go back home and not only this he is a governor of punjab two things have inspired me deeply the v- first thing it was very, i was very touched he is the first mp in england who took oath on quran park that was a remarkable thing <laughs> and second thing is this which is which is priceless what he did there was a one, 17 years old scottish boy it was he was murdered by a pakistani guy and he escaped he ran to pakistan and he was he stood up for that scottish guy to get the justice that was remarkable this is what my 30 some years here in this country what i have learned you have to love the country you are living in i am practically in love with this country i'm i love america on a daily basis i all basically say god bless america on a daily basis and we need to do that all of us we need to do it if we wanted to grow here in this country you have to attach yourself with the soil of this land that's what that's what exactly server sahab did with glasgow england and that's remarkable and i wanted to say he has uh, started a server foundation in pakistan and three things when i was going through uh, his uh, his biography 17 stara lakh logon ko he has served provided them a uh, health uh, medical plans he's uh, uh, empowering uh, women there he has opened up schools where he where, where he uh, he was born and raised so i wish all of us we do it we're doing it not qu- no question about it we pakistani americans have helped imran khan building shaukat khanam we are still doing it we have deep pockets we have always supported uh, the citizen foundation and all of other organizations so at the same time whenever you you think uh, please go uh, visit the serverfoundation.org at the same time and see what the choice hub is doing is remarkable is remarkable i uh, thank you so much sir thank you for giving us this honor thank you tar javed sahab you coming from texas i really appreciate uh, thank you mr ambassador and thank you all of you guys Now I wanted to request all of you to please stand up and and welcome the governor of Punjab Chaudhry Muhammad Sarwar please come to the stage and, and please have a seat بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سوری مائی چلا ڈیئر برادر ساجد تار صاحب اور مائی ریسپیکٹڈ برادر جیسی سنگھ صاحب اسد مجید یور ایکسیلنسی اور امبیسڈر اف پاکستان ان 
यूनाइटेड किंगडम ताहिद जवेद साहब जॉन वोबिन स्मिथ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट डग जैसलर अटॉर्नी जनरल एंड इनशाला गवर्नर मेरीलैंड सेनेटर विल स्मिथ इरफान पुरोया साहब हु हैज़ कम ऑल द वे फ्राम कैंसस इरशाद चीमा साहब खाल नज़ीर साहब मिर्जा खावर बेग साहब मकसूद अहमद साहब मुस्लम्स ऑफ अमेरिका सिक्स ऑफ अमेरिका हिंदूज ऑफ अमेरिका मुफ्ती मुनीर अहमद साहेब ग्रांड मुफ्ती ऑफ अमेरिका ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स असलम when i see so many leaders and important people in this hall this reminds me of a story i think it was in 2007 i was invited in norway for pakistan independence day celebration as a chief guest and then there were two ministers from norway who are also attending that event so before the main function there was a vip reception and the organizers were introducing us with the people who joined us for this reception and they were telling us this gentleman is the president of such and such organization this gentleman is chairman of welfare association this gentleman is chair of sikh organization this chairman is Uh, from hindu community organization so after the introduction the minister says to me mr sarwar i have attended many events in my life but i have never met so many presidents and chairmen under one roof <laughs> and i can safely say that although i been to united states of america many times but i have never met so many important people under one roof the ones i am seeing today aaj liberty lavanga kyunki bada acha mahol hai there are so many distinguished guests are here and really uh, makes me very happy when i see our ethnic minority brothers from india bangladesh pakistan when they are doing well they are making a huge contribution to the economics of this country to the business in this country to the prosperity of this country and sajid what you said i 100% agree with you ke wherever you live you raise your family you earn your living you must love that country and you must be patriotic with that country. and i always tell and i always tell especially to my younger generation प्लीज़ वैल्यू वट यू हैव अचीव आप यहाँ वोट दे सकते हैं आप यहाँ इलेक्शन लड़ सकते हैं आप अपनी गाड़ी खरीद सकते हैं अपना बिजनेस कर सकते हैं एंड पार्टिकुलरली आई टेल माई मुस्लिम यूथ हु आर समाइम्स वेरी क्रिटिकल ऑफ दी वेस्ट कि भई वो फैसिलिटीज़ जो आपको यूरोप में अमेरिका को में अवेलेबल हैं वो शायद आपके मुस्लिम ब्रदर्स कंट्रीज़ में नहीं अवेलेबल है और एक बात मैं आपको और भी शेयर करना चाहता हूँ ग्रांड मुफ्ती साहब यहाँ बैठे हैं ही विल करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग इस्लाम वाज तौर पर यह बात बताता है कि इफ़ यू आर लिविंग इन ए कंट्री एंड ए मुस्लिम कंट्री अटैक्स योर कंट्री वेर यू आर लिविंग वेर यू हैव ए नेशनैलिटी अगर वो अग्रेसर है तो देन यू आर ड्यूटी बाउंड टू डिफेंड योर कंट्री वेर यू आर लिविंग तो इसलिए we have to be you have to be patriotic you are very fortunate to be the citizens of united states of america which is the most powerful country in the world which is the richest uh, country of the world now i want to raise few issues international issues which are very important for all of us anyone who believes in humanity anyone who believes in equality justice fairness human rights democracy these issues are very dear to us all palestinian issue it was very sad what happened 10 12 days in palestine and i want to 
tell you that during Intifada 1987 to 92-93, I personally visited Gaza and West Bank more than a dozen times. When Yasser Arafat went there, I went with him. And I have seen with my own eyes, I have witnessed brutality, unfairness, and the way the children are being treated there, it really makes me very upset. And I think it is the duty of all of us to protect the human rights of every individual, whether they are a Muslim or non-Muslim. And Palestinian issue is very simple. It's not a complicated issue. United Nations has passed the resolutions which demands State of Israel to withdraw to pre-67 borders. And that's what Palestinians are asking for. And all of you know that Palestinians were expelled unjustly from their own land. And what they're asking for is pre-67 borders with their capital, Jerusalem, North Jerusalem, and right to return to their homes, to their towns, to their villages, the people who were forcefully expelled from their homeland. And I think it is the duty of all the United Nations Security Council, it is the duty of United States of America because responsibility lies more on United States of America because United States of America is the richest country in the world, most powerful country in the world. So I hope and wish that this issue will be resolved soon. And I want to really thank and pay tribute to Bill Clinton because he is the presidential leader in the United States who worked very hard to bring the issue near resolution, near resolution. And I think now if any American president will take this seriously, we can bring a peaceful resolution to the conflict of uh, Palestine. And now I want to say that Pakistan want to have good relations with its neighbors. We want to have good relations with India. Unfortunately, on 5th of August, India changed the status of Jammu and Kashmir and revocation of Article 370, 35A, without consultation with Kashmiri leadership. And I believe it's a violation of United Nations resolutions because they could not change the status of Kashmir without consulting the Kashmiris because that is the disputed territory. <laughs> and I hope and wish that the both countries will have it. Because one thing I want to say to you is, wars are not a solution to the problems. We have experienced in Afghanistan, we have experienced wars in Iraq, but that is not the situation. That is not the situation. This has made worse international issues after the war in Afghanistan and war in Iraq. So I believe through negotiation, through dialogue, we can resolve all the outstanding issues between India and Pakistan because in my belief, our enemy in India and Pakistan is poverty, unemployment, People are living in abject poverty, and both countries, rather than spending money on weapons of mass destruction, they should spend that money to building their infrastructure, building health services, and eradicating poverty in Pakistan and India. And I hope sense will prevail, and we will be able to resolve outstanding issue of uh, uh, Kashmir. One thing that is very important is that the people of our community are living लोकल जो आपकी पॉलिटिक्स है उसमें इंडल्ज करें अपने आप जब आप यहाँ की लोकल पॉलिटिक्स में शामिल होंगे तो आप अपने लिए भी 
اپنی فیملیز کے لیے بھی اپنی کمیونٹی کے لیے بھی اینڈ یو ول فیل سیٹسفیکشن ٹو سرونگ آل دی کمیونٹی یہ بڑا ضروری ہے کہ آپ جو ہیں اس سوسائٹی کا حصہ ہیں اور مشکلات ہوتی ہیں میں آپ کو بتاتا ہوں کہ وین آئی واز اے گلاس گو سٹی کاؤنسلر آئی واز اے گڈ بوائی ایوری باڈی واس اے محمد از اے گریٹ مان ہی از اے گڈ مین لیکن جو ہی میں نے کہا کہ یار تسی ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ بن دے ہو تو میرا بھی دل کر رہا ہے تو اس ویلے آئی بی کے میں بیٹھ گوئی اینڈ اٹ واز اوپن او اسکاٹ لینڈ از ناٹ ریڈی فار اے بلیک ایم پی گلاس گو از ناٹ ریڈی ٹو ووٹ فار اے مسلم گلاس گو از ناٹ ریڈی ٹو ووٹ فار اے مینارٹی کمیونٹی تو میں کہا بھاجی گل سنو او ایک تسی میدان چ سٹو گے تو پتا لگے گا اگر اسی گل چ رہے تو اسی تو ساری عمر پہ تھوڑا سپورٹ ہی کرتے رہیں گے تھوڑے لیے تالیاں ماریں گے بھی سا بھی دل کرتا ہے تو اس واسطے بالکل نہیں گھبرانا کہ بھی صرف او ہی بن سکتے تسی نہیں بن سکتے ود یور ٹیلنٹ ود یور ایکسپرٹی ود یور ہارڈ ورک یو کین بی اے کانگریس مین یو کین بی اے سینیٹر اور میرا تو میں تھوڑا دسنا چاہنا ہے کہ ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹین میں آئی ڈیسائڈ ٹو ریٹائر اینڈ مائی سن وانٹ ٹو بی ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ تو مجھے پہلے اس نے کہا کہ اگر آپ میرے لیے کر رہے ہیں تو نہ کریں بیکاز آئی کین گو ان سم ادر سیٹ میں نے کہا نہیں بس آئی ہیڈ اینف بس میں نے کر لیا ہے تو اس وقت برطانیہ میں انہوں نے کہا کہ بھائی ہم تو ڈینسٹی جو ہے وہ ادھر چلتی تھی انڈیا میں پاکستان میں تو مسٹر سرور ہیز براڈ ڈینسٹی ان یونائٹیڈ کنگڈم ایز ویل تو کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا تو میں آپ کو بتاؤں کہ جان پریسکاٹ واز دی ڈپٹی پرائم منسٹر آف یونائٹیڈ کنگڈم تو اس کا بیٹا بھی اس کی سیٹ پہ کینڈیڈیٹ تھا میرا بیٹا میری سیٹ پہ تھا تو مجھے جان پریسکاٹ ایک دن کہتا ہے کہ محمد آئی وانٹ ٹو آس یو ہاؤ یور سن از سلیکٹڈ اینڈ مائی سن از ناٹ سلیکٹڈ میں کہا جان پریسکاٹ وہ وقت ننگن تو بعد بھی مشورہ کری دا تو میری ایڈوائز لینی سی تو تو سال پہلوں لیندا تو ہن تو ایڈوائز کا تو لینی ہے ہن تو جو ہو گیا ہو گیا اس واسطے آئی ول گیو یو ایڈوائز آئی ول موٹیویٹ یو اینڈ آئی ٹیل یو وین پاکستانیوں کی ایک انڈیا تو پاکستانی اسی سا کلچر اکو ہی ہے تو ساڈا لئی اکو ہی کام اوکھا ہے پہلا ایک تسی ریسٹورنٹ بنا کے دیکھ لو تھوڑے سارے رشتے دار تھوڑے مقابلے جی ریسٹورنٹ بنا کھڑے کر دیں تسی گروسری دی ایک دکان پا لو سارے میں اپنا اتھے ایلگن مائی وائف کمس فرام ایلگن تو میں وہاں جاتا تھا تو وہاں پر ہمارا ایک دوست تھا تو چھ سات فیملی ہیں ان کی ادھر تو وہ بیچارہ ہر سیٹرڈے کو تمام جو پاکستانیوں کو کھانے پہ بلاتا تھا کھانے پہ بلا کے اس کے بعد وہ کارڈ وغیرہ تاش وغیرہ کھیلتے تھے کیونکہ اگلے دن چھٹی ہوتی تھی تو میں ایک دن وہاں پر گیا تو وہ بڑا ناراض تھا وہ کہتا جی میں نے تو ان پاکستانیوں کو بلانا چھوڑ دیا میں کی ہویا کہتا یار سارے نے ریسٹورنٹ بنا لیا میرے حال دیکھ نالے میں انہوں نے کھانا کھلاندا سی میرے گاہک دیکھ کے اپنے کھول لیا انہوں نے تو اسیں اکو ہی جانا اوکھا ہے جن ایک ساڈا سکھ بھرا ایک مسلمان اتھے پہنچ گیا تو پھر لائن لگ جائے گی پھر تسی فکر نہیں کرنا میں تم سے اس واسطے پہلے ہی کوشش کرو باقی پھر رستہ آپ ہی سارے بنا لیں دے بہت بہت شکریہ تھینک یو یس سو ناؤ وی ول آف کورس ایز وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دیٹ دا ہول پرپز آف ٹونائٹس ایونٹ از ٹو انٹیگریٹ دا ڈفرینٹ کمیونٹیز دیٹ میک امیرکا میلٹنگ پارٹ آف کلچرس اینڈ وی سیلبریٹ دس with when we come together as Americans, as South Asians, or as Muslims, or as uh, any ethnic or religious background that we have, but when we come together as American Muslims or American South Asians, we are celebrating this. And for this, of course, we cannot... Without further delay, we, I think we should call on stage the Grand Mufti of America, Mufti Munir Ahmed. And uh, as I told you, that he runs Al Munir Foundation and he's the pride of Muslim community. Please, sir, come on stage. Grand Mufti of America, Mufti Munir Ahmed. السلام علیکم 
الحمد للہ وحدہ والصلاۃ والسلام والا ملا نبی آباد اما آباد آنریبل چیف گیسٹ رسپیکٹیڈ آفیشیلس لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین فرسٹ آف آل آئی وڈ لائک ٹو تھینک مسٹر ساجی تارر فار انوائٹنگ می ٹو دس ونڈرفل ایونٹ اینڈ مور اوور گیونگ مینگ دا آنر آنر آف ایڈریس آل آف یو مائی ڈیئرس In the light of the current world events, I would like to take this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entangled mankind in two conditions. One is the condition of peace and the other is fear. But by its very nature, mankind seeks peace and wants to escape from fear. The fruit of peace is affection and friendship. On the other hand, the consequence of fear is hatred, conflict, and war. Principally, if each one of us sincerely fulfills our responsibilities, then it will automatically result in securing the rights of others. It will create peace in the world. But if someone does not truly fulfill his responsibilities, then certainly it will violate the rights of others. It will give rise to conflict and hostility. My dears, it's only when those in power will start to give the rights to those weaker than them, only then we will experience peace in the world in this regard prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him said kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyatihi everyone of you is a guardian on the day of judgment every guardian will be answerable for those under his guardianship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made america a superpower is like a guardian for the whole world see is like a guardian for the whole world therefore is a responsibility to of america to check where in the world the balance of rights and responsibilities are being violated so that it can use its good will to stop the hands of injustice and raise the flag of peace Otherwise, America will lose its, its dignity in this world and it will also be held accountable in front of God on that day of judgment. Especially, America should step forward to help the innocent people of Palestine and Kashmir and Uyghur Muslims in China, etc. and stop the injustice going on there. This is a test to truly fulfill the responsibility of being a superpower. In the end, I sincerely pray that our world becomes a place of peace and security for everyone. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give America the capability and courage to raise the flag of peace and justice and protect America with his mercy. God bless America. Ameen. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Thank you. And now, uh, of course, we will uh, go ahead and acknowledge some of the community members with some awards from Muslims of America. And Omar, are we ready for the award ceremony? All right, so first of all, of course, uh, please, Mr. Wuppensmith and Mr. Sajid Tarar, please come to the stage. Everybody else, please take a stay, uh, seat and uh, quickly we will, uh, you know, uh, done with this uh, award ceremony and we'll start the rest entertainment. Uh, Ambassador, Mr. Uh, Asad Majid Khan, please come to the stage. Mr. Wobin Smith, please come to the stage. Mr. Will Smith, please come to the stage. Thank you so much. 
and Mr. Sajid Tarar is okay. Mr. Jasteep Singh, please also come to the stage. And, uh, and the first award is presented to Mufti Munir Ahmad. First award of the night goes to for outstanding community service Mufti Munir Ahmad from Al Munir Foundation. Please put your hands together for Grand Mufti of America, Mufti Munir Ahmad Al Akhun. Thank you so much. And of course, when it comes to community service, uh, the services of Al Munir Foundation, we wanted to recognize the Al Munir Foundation and Mufti Azam, you know, Mufti Munir again. And uh, this uh, shield will be presented by Governor and Muslims of America to Grand Mufti of America. Mufti Munir. Good neighbors are here. For all his work that he has been doing through Al Munir Foundation, integrating communities and for the welfare of Muslim community in the United States. Good neighbors are here. Please come on the stage to present the shield to the governor. Thank you, sir. Oh.